स्टूडेंट्स वी आर बैक विथ अ न्यू पॉइंट अ टाइगर इन द जू रिटर्न बाय रेजल नॉरिस दिस पॉइंट इज इंक्लूडेड इन द सिलेबस ऑफ क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट टॉक्स अबाउट फ्रीडम liberty and imprisonment liberty and imprisonment both things are altogether different if a person is free to do anything he can enjoy his life if the same person is put behind bars then he is unable to do anything his ideas his thoughts and his lifestyle all things can be changed if the same person is bound if the same person is confined if the same person is limited and put behind bars that is the theme of the poem while writing the summary while you are trying to understand this poem you should divide this poem into two parts first of all learn that there is a tiger and the nature of the tiger is that a tiger likes freedom first of all divide the poem into two parts stanza number 1 stanza number 4 stanza number 5 these stanzas describe a tiger in the zoo and stanza number 2 and 3 only these two stanzas describe the actual or you can say the real habitat or the real behavior of the tiger now what happened in the beginning a tiger is put behind bars now he is inside a zoo he is inside a cage and now he is in anger so the poet has very beautifully described the state the mental condition of the tiger that he is in अब्सोल्यूट रेस बहुत ज्यादा गुस्से में टाइगर है ही इज अनेबल टू डू एनी थिंग बट ही कैन शो हिज एंकर इन द फोर्थ स्टेंज द पोइट डिस्क्राइज दैट द टाइगर इज लॉक्ड बिहाइंड द बार्स ही इज इन साइड अ कंक्रीट सेल सेल means case cautery and he is talking he is talking the length of the case and he is ignoring the people you should remember the meaning of the word stalking stalking means walking with pride now he is behind bars yet he feels proud he stalks the length of the concrete cell with proud so the writer describes that he is stalking the length of the case but there is strange there is something strange about the behavior of the tiger and the strange thing is that he is 
not looking at the people he is ignoring them and the same way in the fifth stanza you can see the writer describes that the tiger during night hears the sound or voices of the patrolling cars he is looking at the brilliant stars in the sky with his brilliant eyes he is helpless he is unable to do anything he has lost his freedom because he is behind bars but in the second and third stanzas the poet has described the real habitat of the tiger that a tiger should do that a tiger must do something that suits its personality the poet says that the tiger should be lurking in shadows lurking means hiding the tiger should be hiding in shadows kahin chhupne ki jagah pe tiger ko chhupna chahiye open place mein jangal mein and at the same time he should be sliding through the grass near the वाटर होल जो वाटर का सोर्स है पानी का कोई स्रोत है जहाँ पे प्लम्प डियर आते हैं प्लम्प मीन्स फैट मोटे जो डियर आते हैं हिरण आते हैं उनको निशाना लगाने के लिए घात लगाए ये टाइगर बैठा रहता है और टाइगर को एक्चुअली क्या करना चाहिए यू must remember two words the first one is lurking and the second one is sliding he must be lurking in shadows and he should be sliding through grass near the water hole where the plump deer pass so that is the real that is the actual behavior of the tiger now what happens in the third stanza the poet describes that the tiger should be snarling snarling means growling gurrana gusse mein dahadna snarling around houses at the jungle's edge edge means margin kinara jungle ke kinare jo ghar bane hote hain jahan pe jo log hote hain unke upar tiger ko स्नार्लिंग करना चाहिए ग्रोविलिंग करना चाहिए गुर्राना चाहिए दहाड़ना चाहिए दैट इज द एक्चुअल बिहेवियर ऑफ द टाइगर दैट शोज हिज स्ट्रेंथ एंड एट द सेम टाइम ही शुड शो हिज फैंक्स फैंक्स हिज टीफ अपने दांतों को दिखाना चाहिए एंड क्लॉज अपने पंजों को दिखाना चाहिए एंड एट द सेम टाइम ही शुड बी टेरराइजिंग द विलेजर्स if he is if it is a tiger it must terrorize the villagers that is its real quality that is its real worth that is a part of the personality of the tiger so keeping all these things in mind i would like to give you a summarized view of this poem that you should divide this poem into two parts stanzas number 1 4 and stanzas number 1st 4th and 5th describe a tiger in the zoo and stanzas number 2nd and 3rd describe a tiger in natural habitat i hope aapko ye method ye tarika डिवीज़न करके समरी को लर्न करने का अच्छा लगा होगा गिने चुने वर्ड मीनिंग्स हैं उनको आप माइंड में सेट करेंगे और इस पोएम की समरी को आप अच्छे से लर्न कर पाएंगे हॉपिंग फॉर द बेस्ट वी 
assure you that notes of the poem we are going to provide you through PPT in our next video. Fine. Thank you.